What I want to do today is connect our Dropbox app to Whisper so that whenever a new video file is uploaded into Dropbox, Whisper will create a text transcription of the file. Zapier is a no-code tool that makes it easier for anyone to automate workflows across 5,000 plus apps. If you don't have an account, there's a link in the description for a free two-week trial so you can try it risk-free. Let's dive in. In order to get started with this workflow, I need to create a Zap by clicking the button on the left-hand side of the screen. Because I want Dropbox to trigger a text transcription in Whisper, I'll need to use Dropbox as my trigger. I can find the app by typing it into the search bar and clicking below. The trigger screen will then pop up. I should click New File in Folder as my event and then click Continue. Setting this as the trigger means that anytime Dropbox sees a new file is uploaded into our Dropbox, it's going to run this workflow. The first time we set up Dropbox, we'll need to authenticate it with Zapier. A link will pop up for you to log into your Dropbox account. Don't worry, it's totally safe because Zapier uses industry standards for encryption when connecting with each of your apps. I'll put a link to Zapier's security and trust page in the description as well. We'll then need to set up our trigger apps data. Select the folder you'd like to use for your Zap and click Continue. In order to finish setting up the trigger, we'll need to pull in some example data. To do that, click Test Trigger. You're all set with the first step. Click Continue and we can start creating our first action. Type in OpenAI into the search bar and select it on the drop-down menu. Next, click Create Transcription and click Continue. From there, I can select our account and authenticate OpenAI with Zapier, just like I did with my Dropbox account. To do this, go to your OpenAI page, click the top right button of your screen and then select View API Keys on the drop-down. Click Create New Secret Key and then copy and paste it onto your authorization screen. By the way, if at any point you get stuck, Zapier's got an amazing support team that can help you out. There's a link in the description to their forum post for this specific workflow. Click Continue and it's time to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under File, I'll select File and then I'll click Continue. Click Test Action and we can move on to our second action step. Whisper will create our transcription, but we'll need to make sure it appears on our Dropbox app. To do this, click the plus button on the bottom of the screen and then type Dropbox into the search bar. Click Create Text File and click Continue. Log into your account once more and click Continue again. From there, we can start to assign our trigger apps data into the Action Apps fields. Under Folder, select the folder you'd like to use for your Zap. And then under File Name, you can name your file what you like. I'm going to name mine Zapier Transcription. Under Content, click Content under the drop-down and click Continue. Click Test Action, and I should be all set. Yep, there it is. This is ready to turn on. Now, whenever a new video file is uploaded into Dropbox, Whisper will create a text transcription of the file. I hope this was a helpful demo. Zapier can do so much more with these two apps than thousands of others. Check Zapier out. There's a free trial. Click the link in the description.